Well, hello and welcome to Let's Chat, episode 15. I'm David Berry, my co-host Dane Lazarus. Mate, how are you? I'm going well, mate. Full? Yeah. Lots of breakfast? Yeah, very good, very good breakfast at the PG Hampshire Rugby WA Grand Final Breakfast here at Kings Park. Between two ferns today, uh, Dan, we thought we'd change it up. This was your idea. Really like it, mate. Thanks, Thanks. Yeah, excellent. And we're also joined here on my left by young Connor O'Sullivan, who this year took out the 2020 PG Hampshire Award. Connor, congratulations and welcome, mate. Thank you. Yeah, no, awesome to be here. So, mate, uh, were you expecting that win? I mean, definitely not. I mean, it was uh, unexpected, to say the least. Um, came out of nowhere, saw, saw my name creeping up on that on that board and, and got a bit surprised. And then when, um, when Sheldon and, and Tobbs came in at third, I was, I was happy and... Thought I knew I'd take it out, so it was awesome. Mate, some pretty big names out there. You just mentioned Tob Hoskins, you know, 11-year first-grade player. Sheldon Tawara, I think, been in the top five the last three or four years. Uh, Walter Koteka, really, really good sort. So you must be pretty proud of yourself being on top there. Oh, 100%. I mean, those guys are exceptional football players. I mean, a lot of them have played at the top level, um, semi-pro, pro level. So to, to come out on top of those guys is, uh, is a big feat, I reckon. And, um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's a really good feeling. So... Dane, as a former coach of Connor, any uh, any words of wisdom there? Well, I definitely uh, put him to where he is today, back in uh, junior gold under, under 15. Remember those days, Connor? Gave you some motivation, told you you couldn't play seven, and you proved me wrong. So well <laughs> Not done, Not many mate. people have done that. <laughs> tell you that. So well done, mate. But looking forward uh, to this weekend. Um, you've obviously got a big game against Joondalup. Um, what, what do you have to... Uh, you lost against them last time. What can you expect from them this week? Yeah, I mean, huge game. Um, they were they were tough. They were tough um, battle last time we played them. It was, it was a close close win. Um, sorry, close loss. Went down. Um, hopefully, the home ground advantage will, will turn the tables a bit. Um, I know the team's really up for it. I'm sure Jundi will be as well. So it's a great day day of rugby on Saturday. So get down because it's going to be awesome. It's going to be great there at UWA Sports Park. You boys going to get a good crowd for your for your home team. Oh, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, keeping keeping it controlled on the COVID is <laughs> going to be a problem. Keeping that keeping that crowd to three thousand is going to definitely be an issue. So get down early because. Um, yeah, I know that Zach DeGraff as COVID manager is, is going to have an absolute battle on his hands to keep people apart. I think you have to get there early to see Connor play. I Absolutely. Guess, as, as well, we hear. Connor, thanks very much for joining us, mate. Excellent effort. Good luck on the weekend. And uh, here's to a better year for UWA next year. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks folks. Folks. Beautiful. Connor O'Sullivan, the 2020 PG Hampshire Award winner. Best and fairest in the FMG Premier Grade. What a great young guy. Mate, massive. And got a couple of highlights from them, uh, which we'll see now. Absolutely. Check it out. <laughs> Welcome back. How about that? Conor O'Sullivan, what a jet he is. He, he's going to be a good player for another 10, 12 years. Absolutely, mate. He's going to be a real uh, like cornerstone of that UWA team for mm. years to come. Young players coming through. Mm. And, mate, I reckon he'll be captain one day. Yeah, I think you're right there. Well done to Conor again. Now, Dane, let's move on. We've got some semi-final action to talk about. I'm going to start in the Div 2 semi. UWA t- took on Nedlands. Huge win. 29-17. Yeah, massive, and they were up for it at UWA. They were 19 nil up at half time, and mm. really took the game away from um, Netherlands early. Yep. Um, Netherlands perennial finalist, so they made another one. I think mm. that's like number 78 consecutively right. or something. Huge. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, really, really well played by UWA, and they'll they'll be raring to go this weekend. Yeah, Connor O'Sullivan getting over the line again. He's a try scoring machine. Yeah. That boat usually off the hip of his <laughs> of his older brother Rory yeah, there at yeah. nine. He's a super player. Now, moving on, Div 1 semi-final. This was touted to be sort of the match of the round from our point of view. West Scarborough taking on Associates. 
Uh, Associates got the jump pretty, pretty got the job done pretty easily there. Yeah, really windy, and I think Soaks just used that wind a little bit better than um, than Wes. Mm. Um, Kane Kateka was on the bench. He looked angry when he got on and was putting on some massive hits. He's a scary man. <laughs> Kane Kateka, saw the Undertaker, they call him, um, bearing people, bearing mm. people, and um, they 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 really took it away. Lockie Phillips for I was Associates. just about to mention, yeah, killed it, mm. number nine, and he'll be one to watch in the final. Coming off an injury as well, I think he broke his shoulder actually yeah, a few weeks ago, ago. Yeah. so hasn't played a lot of footy and came back, played the full 80 minutes and not just played 80 minutes, he was a gun. Outstanding. Probably play uh, best on. Yeah, great, great rugby WA talent there coming through the pathway. Moving on, the next semi-final, Div 1, Cottesloe v Palmyra. I was at this one, Dane. Tell you what, it shaved a few years off my life. (laughs) It was an incredible game. Palmyra dominated, absolutely dominated the first 50 minutes of this game. Tough breeze coming in as it does at Cottesloe. And it was actually one of the first times I'd seen a team play at Cot that handled the weather better. Yes. So uh, Palmyra were really good. Absolutely. That first half, they ran into the wind, Palmyra, kicked better, Cot literally had nothing. Mm. I think it was 16-3 at, at 50 minutes out. Correct. Um, and, yeah, Cottesloe were done. Yeah. Buried. And then they all did of a look- sudden, a little bit of a shift in momentum. Yep. Penalty try. Yeah. Um, oh, Ali Haining. Top points, uh, top try scorer was going in again. Yep. And then he got bundled into touch, a little bit of a handbags yep. um, in that corner. But that changed momentum for them. Mm, huge. And then they just got to roll on, roll on, and running into the wind. Mm. Yeah, both teams that they played well into the wind. No That's one right. Play with the wind. So. so it was 17 16 with about three minutes to go. Palmyra had the ball. Little shift out to the wing. Jimmy Blackburn, the speedster from Cottesloe, picks it off, pretty much runs the length of the field and wins caught the game, 22-16. Yes. So great effort there. Bruising affair. Gives Cot a bit of confidence going into that final. It's going to be an unbelievable game, that GF, which we're going to get to later. Yep. But Battle of Broom Street, It'll holy moly. Now let's move on. The Colts semi-final. This was an absolute cracker, an upset. Associates beating first place Perth Bayswater. Don't think they've beaten them in a couple of years at Colts level. Huge. Massive result, and I don't know those who watched it. We'll, we'll, we'll see Lincoln Bell yeah. made a prop running the distance. He's kicked out. He's out of the front row club. They had a vote. He's out. <laughs> He's out. He's done. <laughs> He's You're, too fast. You're too fast. You're too fast. You ran too, too fit. You ran too far. Silly. Unbelievable play. They were down by four points or something like I believe. Yeah, six six points. Six yeah, points, seven. and then. Enter Hugh Edwards with a little shift ball out to the big man Lincoln Bell who puts some footwork on and goes pretty much half the field and dots it under the post. Associates win. Untouched. Unbelievable play. You know what? That's what I love about grand finals is that anything can happen. Yeah. So Perth Bays would have probably thought they would have just probably cruised into this final and maybe had a tough, tough final. But Soaks got up and got the job done. That's what happens. Anyone's game. Huge win. Now, tell me about this Colts semi-final two. Joondalup taking on Kalamunda. Looked like a bit of a nail-biter. Oh, my word. That game was bruising. I feel sorry for the Joondalup boys. They will be sore. Yep. Uh, Kalamunda was throwing in, the, like, everything at it. They were bashing in that first 20 minutes. Really put them under pressure. Joondalup just kept kept staying in front. And, um, yeah, 10-11, um, or 11 points to Joondalup, 10 to Kala. Last play of the game. Kala looks like they're going over. Overlap, pass, score. Just went forward the pass, um, yeah. call back, gutting. Um, Malachi Tupolotu, Colts player of the year, yeah. played in that game and player. was outstanding. I've never seen a, a prop running lines as well as he did. Um, some really good talent in Kalamunda for years to come. Their, mm. their Prem grade team is going to be exceptional in three, four years. Can you see Malachi sort of progressing as well up that pathway, Future Force, Academy sort of area? I can't see why not, mate. That, that's a serious talent. I think he's, what, 18, 17, 18. Mm. So he's got years ahead of him in terms of a prop life. Mm. So um, And already playing Premier grade at that age Correct, too. and holding his own. So Incredible. Great work to Jundal up um they're going to be sore and 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 soaks off their their massive win they'll probably be going in and we'll talk about tips later but mm. they'll, they'll be up and about yeah. for that one um and yeah just a cracking game absolutely and the uh, last game of the finals there was the ata women's wanneroo just getting over the top of cottesloe there yeah it was a tough one uh, wanneroo got out to an early lead um Cottesloe ended up winning the second half in terms of points. So they fought their way back. Tamika Jones, mm. um, Sue Roberts winner. Of yeah. the best female player. Best, fair, best and fairest in the females. Very, yeah. very good. She is a superstar. She is going to be one to watch. Uh, yeah. I definitely see her going going high in terms of uh, rugby levels and playing yep. 
playing international rugby. She's got the talent. She's got the temperament. And, yeah, she's a big... She's, yeah. she's well built. Yeah. Um, solid, fast. And would, yeah, it'd be fair to say that the Wallabies, the Wallaroos would be looking at her, wouldn't it? I, I would say Dwayne Nest would be silly not to. So, yeah. yeah. Yep, good call, Dane. Well, fantastic. They're through. They're taking on the Calamander Queens. We'll get to that very shortly. Yep. That's going to be a cracker. Let's move on, Dan. Let's talk about these finals. This is huge. Can't remember a biggest final series. I mean, they're big every year, but this just seems massive. It's huge. So everything that we've gone through in COVID, Rugby WA doing such an amazing job of getting the comp up and running, and we're at finals time. It's just incredible. October. Who would have thought we'd playing rugby in October? Oh, but I love it. It's, it's nice fantastic. and bright. It's beautiful. Sun's up. Sun's and, uh, out. We are at UWA this week. Uh, yeah. Three fields. One day, all Saturday, all games on the same day. I think that's huge and, and a good yep. good way to finish the year. And just, we're, we're very lucky, I say this every week, we're so lucky to be in Perth, but now's the chance to get down and watch some finals rugby yep. in Western Australia. It's going to be a beautiful day on Saturday. Get down, watch all grades, it's going to be huge. UWA Club will have food on, food and bev, it's going to be huge. Yep, absolutely. Uh, let's get cracking. Colts final, Junior Lup Associates. I've got no idea. <laughs> I know Junior Lup had a bruising affair, but they just seem to have won a few big games this year. But you have to say, Associates full of confidence, you've got to pick them. I think if Lincoln's on the field, I think they can they can win it in the 81st minute easily <laughs> um, if they keep it tight. But I, I genuinely think Soaks will get up yep. just just because of that confidence they had to win it against the top team. Joondal up, held on. They're bruised. They're battered. They may just have run out of a bit of energy in the back end of that final. So yeah, I got no, Soaks by five. Sometimes those hard games, though, they pull the best out of players. So it's, it, this is a tough one. I agree. I'm going with Soaks as well. But... It's anyone's game, that Colts Absolutely. fan. Right? And that's what I love about Grand Final Rugby. I can't see any of these finals this weekend being, blowout. being blowouts, nah. which is exactly what we want. We yep. want competitive Grand Finals. Let's move on to the Alcohol Thinker game women's. I feel, I feel like these two teams are playing the Grand Final in the last 20 years. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're so good every year. The Wanneroo Divas, the Kalamunda Queens, taking on each other once again. Who knows? Yeah. You would think Kalamunda have had a pretty good season. But we know Wanneroo can play well in finals time. Absolutely. They played really well on the weekend. And, uh, yeah, last year's grand final replay, mm. uh, Wanneroo just getting up. They, mm. they were under the pump and held on at home. Mm. Now it's in a neutral venue at, at UWA. I, um, I think Calamondo are going to be favourites again. I think it's two, three points. I think kicking could be the difference from, from conversions. Yep. Uh, but it'll be anyone's game. I think Calamondo, though. Yeah, I agree. I'm going with the Queens. Good on Calamondo. They've had a great season. Moving on, the Fortescue Championship, Div 2, really good game. These guys played a cracker earlier in the year. Yep. Joondal up taking on UWA. We just spoke to Conor O'Sullivan. He's pretty confident after a good win against Netherlands last week, but Joondal up are a good team. This is going to be a great game. Absolutely, yeah. And I, I think even though Joondal up beat them last time, it um, was a close affair, and speaking with Adam Munro, he reckons they should they should do it by yep. doing, sticking to their game plan. Connor will go in with a hell of a lot of confidence here, mm. being PG Hampshire winner, and I know the club will get behind him and support him, and the players and that team will really be wanting to win it, make sure Connor ends the season as the best player and a final uh, winner. Mm. So um, I would tip... I think, I think there's a bit of a target on Connor's back now, though, with that <laughs> PG Hampshire. It. He'll love it. Yeah, he'll but eat that up. This is going to be controversial. I'm going to tip UW. Woo! <laughs> Do you know what, Dane? They won't like it. So am I. They won't like it. No, they won't. I haven't they won't tipped them all like year it. and they've got Alex the Alex we're picking your team, mate. <laughs> I reckon it'll be close. I reckon three points in this. Yeah, I agree. I think it's going to be real tight. Shell and Tawara is going to have to kick everything yep. if they're, if General Lapata win this game. But I just think UWA's forward pack is going to have a bit too much. Yeah. I think I, it'll be it'll be tight at set-piece time, but I think with, when loose ball comes, that's where the guys like Conor O'Sullivan, yeah. those types of players, are going to break that game. Absolutely. Up. And uh, a little whisper, Harry Scoble might not be playing for UW. Yeah, I believe he might be flying out yeah. to work. So, work or but wedding, look, I, party. Surely, <laughs> surely you can get that off to play in a GF. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Harry. You're better than that, Red Sauce. Let's do it. <laughs> now, the big one. Div 1, Premier Grade Grand Final, Associates, Cottesloe. Battle of Broome Street. I cannot remember a game, a grand final bigger than this. It's, I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm nervous. Uh, it's going to be huge. And in front of me, I'm going to say probably one of the biggest crowds at a grand final in a long time. Yep. I can't wait for this. I'm happy that it's back at UWA personally. I love that hill, fill the hill. Everyone get up there. Let's watch it. It's going to be 22 and overcast. Arguably, so arguably the best, best venue in WA to watch a game of rugby just from a viewing perspective. Yep. It's it's going to be it's going to be massive. Absolutely, um, Cottesloe, as we spoke about, they they hit late season wobbles, mm. a couple of losses, yeah, a couple um, of roadblocks. Yeah, they they got got over Ox and then you know late win over Pally. Mm. Uh, so they'll be going. They'll be thinking, you know, we we're there. Anything can happen in the final. Yep. Soaks will be beaming with confidence. They played really well leading into that final. Great. Um, and we're the better team out of the two semis. Yep. 
Um, Lockie Phillips, um, Nick Hyde, they all played really well. Mm. Um, so Some I don't good know. Players in good form. Gee whiz, I cannot pick it. But where do you, where do you see this sort of game being lost and won? Where 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 is it going to be lost? Well, yeah, the, the, the old age saying of defence wins your games. Yeah. Um, we know that Soaks um, defended really well against West. Yep. For for a lot of that game, uh, Cottesloe, they were under the pump mm. um, against Pally, and Pally played really well. Just couldn't convert a lot of their points. So. Yeah. Credit to Cottesloe, though, put them under mm. pressure. Um, as I said before, those hard games can motivate a team. Absolutely. Ali Haining as top point scorer for the season. Surely they're going to look to get him the ball, play yeah. one-on-one against um, Associates 13 and, and outside backs. Yeah. He can do anything. Look, <laughs> I don't know a lot about rugby. What I do know is you've got the ball, give it to Ali. <laughs> give it to Ali. He will get you a try. Correct. Guaranteed. He has been so good this year. 80 points on yeah. just tries. Just tries. Yeah. It's incredible. And we said this earlier in the season, but the force have to be looking at him. Surely. He's just been incredible. His speed, his strength, the way he holds up in a tackle. I just think, give him a shot. Yeah, agreed. Get a lot of tape. He's held together by a bit of tape. Yeah, bloke. he is. He's, he's a good he's bloke. A, he's tough. But I think, yeah, the forward pack of Soaks probably yep. might have the upper hand early on. Yep. If so, if Cot can hold on and withstand that pressure, then back into the game they might have the legs. Yep. Got some really good players. Cohen Mason, yep. Alex Fontalvo played amazing when he came on. He did, yeah. Kieran Stringer, old head, and yep. Tobbs Hoskins, they were premiership winner from last year. Yeah. So Cot have a lot of motivation to go back to back. Yep. Soaks won a couple of years ago. Really good win. Yeah. Um, they'll be looking to repeat that. Bobby right. Hunter will be looking to repeat that. Correct. Dane, <laughs> stop bending around the bush. Who's your tip? Oh. <laughs> I didn't want to get to this, but only because Harry Arias is standing just behind camera and I don't want him to win the gloat at work or get another tattoo. Harry won't say where it was. Um, I just I think Cot will win. Yep. Um, they may have they just have the upper hand over Soaks. Yep. This year. Yep. But mate, it's a grand final. Yeah. I reckon it's going to go to extra time. I would love that. I was going to say I think Cot will win and I think it's going to extra time. Yeah, I hope so. I hope it's, it's going to be a nail biter. It'll be massive. We need everyone down there supporting rugby in WA. The grand final schedule you can find on the Rugby WA website, but games kick off at 11 a.m. and will be played across three fields down at UWA there. Fantastic. I went down there last week. It's in such good nick. Immaculate. It is just immaculate. It's fantastic. Last game of the day, which is the Premier Grade grand final, is a 4.20 kickoff, so an hour later than usual. So put that in your diary because that's going to be massive. Uh, And it's going to be, you mentioned earlier, weather looking good, 22. Bit of sun, bit of overcast. Perfect weather for footy. Perfect running rugby. Absolutely. Ten different clubs represented in this year's grand final games. I mean, that's awesome. Massive. Great result. Quinana, Wolves and Perth Irish, they're in there as well. Coastal Cavs have a team. So it's going to be really great to see all those clubs get a crack at the final and then go away just as winners of essentially rugby and WA getting a chance to play in WA. Absolutely. Fantastic. Big weekend ahead. Now, before we go, let's go to our favourite segment, TMO Clip of the Week. We mentioned this earlier in the semi-final between associates there the big man, Lincoln Bell. <laughs> a little shift pass. I'll mention again, Hugh Edwards, this one's for you. A little pass out to the big man. A prop going half of the field under the posts. Check this out. And they secure the ball, but now it's a long march up the field with a minute to go. Straight through the middle. Socks could go all the way here. There's no one at home. The big replacement number one. The prop. The prop. Socks are going to win. Socks are going to win. Associates in the last minute of the game, straight through the middle after everything was lost. And Associates are going to win. I can't believe it. The last man you expect to burst through the middle of the field. And the Associates prop has been out there all day. Lincoln Bell, we can't be doing that, mate. You're out of the front row club. Again, as a back, sometimes forward, but definitely if I come back and play, I'm a front row. You're making us look bad, mate. I'm not running 80 metres. He's up. You can't do that. You can't do that to props of the game. Lincoln, congratulations. Huge effort. Good luck in the weekend too. Absolutely. Big game for Good him. Luck. That's it from us. Let's chat done. We're here at Kings Park today at the PG Hampshire Award. Huge weekend of rugby in Western Australia this weekend. I'm excited. I'm getting down there from game one. I'm there at 11 a.m. I'm perching myself on the hill. And then probably in the grand final, I might just sneak up in the back corner. I don't want anyone to see me cry, no matter what happens in that. So thanks for joining us. We'll be back next week to talk everything rugby in Western Australia. Thanks for tuning in to Let's Chat.